Hey, how you doing everyone? My name is Nick, you're watching Indie Gamer News. Playing some Enter the Gungeon. Um, I guess this is a spoilers video technically, even though we're like over a month since the game has been released. So, I keep getting people asking me how to unlock the bullet that kills the past. Um, probably because this game gets new um, players every single day. So I'm, I just started a brand new save slot, and I'm trying to unlock the bullet in one try just to show you how to do it. Now, these things I'm about to do, you don't need to do it in one run. You can do this over many, many, many runs. But the first thing that you need to do here on floor two, we're in chamber two, the gungeon proper, is save up 110, I believe? Yeah, 110 shell casings and to purchase the prime primer. This is the very first thing you need to do. Arguably the easiest one, although none of them are really all that difficult. And, um... Yeah, that's all you need to do. First floor, this is the first item that you need to get, the Prime Primer on floor two. I will see you on floor three for the next piece. The bullet that kills the pass, by the way, is the item that allows you to get the true endings for each of the four major characters. Be right back. Okay, hello friends. Here we are in the Black Power Mine, Chamber 3. So this is the next level after the one you just saw me in. And this is where that second item is so what you want to do is walk here this will highlight hit e to enter it and there's actually a hidden mine track here so what you got to do is just sidle up to this guy right here and don't hit e or anything like that just dodge roll out and when you dodge roll out you'll automatically go into the cart very simple we can do it here too actually is there a better way to do it no you got to do it right here you want to do it right here just dodge roll into the cart there you go Almost there. We can't quite make that, I don't think. We can make this, though. Dodge roll into the cart. You, you get it, right? You get it. And then we can grab this. Unfortunately, it takes up our active slot, so you can't have an active when you're, when you're bringing this to the blacksmith. That's where we're taking all this stuff. The blacksmith on stage 5, which is, what is that called again? The forge. And you can go ahead and blow these up for fun, because why not? And then I would recommend just teleporting out. Uh, I'm going to go check out this room over here, because I haven't yet. I will see you on the next floor. Okay, here's the next thing. Here we are, Chamber 4, Hollow. This room, of course, like the other two, will always pop up as long as you have not got it. As long as you have not turned in these items to the blacksmith. So, I actually did a whole video on this already, because this is one of the more confusing ones. But what you have to do, see my... my uh, my shells right there, they landed on an invisible ground. So there's an item all the way right over here where I'm putting my cursor on the map. And you need to walk yourself all the way over there. But you need to do it by finding this hidden bridge. And the only way to do it is by putting items on the bridge. So right now, I'm, I'm just using my regular handgun and reloading it. And, uh, when I reload... Is there more this way that I'm not seeing? Alright, when I... Oh, Jesus. When I reload, my shell casings come out of the gun and they land on the bridge. There are easier ways to do this. Namely, um, like the Mega Dowser, the, like, Super Soaker type weapon. Alright, that's exactly what it is. It's a Super Soaker. You can just cover the ground in water. I actually don't have anything that can do that. Um, and this is kind of like a long... A long process. Also, if you fall... You gotta remember... What the fuck? The, the shells were just going the wrong way. If you fall, the path will change. It will disappear from what it was, and you'll have to start all over again. Alright, I'll meet you when I get to the other side. Alright, and when you get all the way over here, see I've made the path and bullets, the very end always seems to actually not be there, so you have to dodge roll over. So you can never just walk straight through. Just a, a last little f middle finger for you, you know? Alright, and over here we get the Planar Lead, the Astral Slug. And this is the last of the four items we need. Now we gotta take it to the fifth floor, uh, to the blacksmith. So, hopefully, I'll see you there. Oh yeah, and by the way, just, uh, just, just teleport out of here. Simple as that. Oh, I've kind of lost a lot of health, but I've made it to her. I may not be able to actually show you how to do this. I hope I can, but here she is. It's been a very long time since anyone has come down here. Come to kill your past. You've made it further than most, that's certain. If you thought it was going to be easy, I've got some bad news for you. What do you mean? The gun that kills the past, like everything else, it needs ammunition. Otherwise, well, what stopped time here? That's old magic. 
If you find the gun, it may fire, but how far back will you go? You might just find yourself right back here again. You want to get out of this place and change something about your past, right? To tear a hole that far back, you'll need a special bullet. I can make it for you, but the materials may, might prove hard to be found. Tell, you what, tell me what you need. To make the bullet, I'll need the prime primer lost in the upper chamber, some arcane gunpowder mined in the heart of the gungeon, a shard of plenar lead broken off from the great bullet when it struck, and an obsidian shell casing, which is the only thing we don't have. Bored from the tooth of a great beast. Bring all of that to me over many lifetimes, and I will aid in your quest. Well, we've got three of those. I see you've brought me the prime primer. Give it to her. Okay, we never have to bring her that again. Arcane gunpowder. Give it to her. Plant planter lead. Give it to her. We, she's got all of it. The bullet still requires more materials. I know what it requires. It's kind of a bummer. We need to kill the boss at the end of this area, which I probably won't be able to do with the amount of health I have at the moment. <sighs> which kind of sucks. But I'll try. I'll try. Welp. I got killed. But... I tried my hardest. I'm not going to be able to show you. But basically, all you have to do is kill the dragon. It's such a bummer that I can't finish this like this. All you got to do is kill the dragon and then blow up his skull. And then it will drop the last piece that you need. And you have to bring that piece back to the blacksmith. She'll give you a bullet. You got It'll drop on the ground. You got to pick it up. And then just, just walk to the end. Walk to the end of the game. And then you can go and kill your past. <sighs> what a bummer. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to see some more stuff in the future. You know what did it to me? The Red Priest on floor four. He totally fucked me. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.